Five Books and Counting, the Tales from the Omni Vault continues to expand as a universe. Go ahead and check the links down in the description to get your copies today. Hello ladies and gentlemen, I'm the Omni Viewer, and there's been some MonsterVerse news that has some people rejoicing and some people biting their nails in nervous fits. It turns out that Adam Wingard, after directing Godzilla vs. Kong and Godzilla Kong the New Empire back to back, will not be returning for the third MonsterVerse movie, which at this point we tentatively believe was going to be a third Godzilla Kong team up. The reason, as far as we know right now, is a scheduling issue. Wingard had signed on to direct a different movie, completely unrelated to the MonsterVerse or Kaiju or anything, as far as I can tell. And the schedule just didn't line up with him being able to do that and to do a third MonsterVerse film. Since he signed up for the other movie first, well, he's committing to that. So... As far as we can tell, it's an amicable split. It's not like there was bad blood, but I'm, I mean, I don't know for certain. I'm just going on what the official word is. But at this point, that leaves the third movie, which has had a soft announcement insofar as we know it's happening, without a director. There's still a writer, the writer for Shang-Chi and the Legend of the Ten Rings, but no director at this point. So, is that cause for alarm? Well... I know that there's some divide among people about how well of a director they think Adam Wingard actually is. So there are some people who are saying that this will be a good thing, and others who are thinking, well, he made, two, he made the two movies that did the best in theaters, at least barring Kong Skull Island, unless the box office surpassed that at this point. I haven't actually checked, which I probably should have. But... He's, he made the MonsterVerse a success after it looked like it might have been stumbling. Is it a good idea to get rid of him? Or lose him, rather? Well, I would just like to gently remind everybody that, technically speaking, we've seen this sort of thing happen before. You guys remember Godzilla 2014 was released, Godzilla 2 was announced not long after, like, practically on opening weekend, as soon as it brought in a large opening box office. And it was just kind of assumed that Gareth Edwards was going to be the director for that as well. But then he went off to direct Star War, a Star Wars movie, Rogue One, A Star Wars Story, which I think is why they pushed King of the Monsters so far ahead, so they could have him after he was done making the Star Wars movie for Disney. But then as soon as Rogue One was done, Edwards announced, actually, I'm gonna take a step back from the big Hollywood stuff and work on an indie project or two, which will allow me to reset my schedule on my own terms and I can spend more time with my family. That's what he said, anyway. I think if you read between the lines, you can actually hear him screaming, that experience was hell and I need to recover and it's gonna take a while. I think maybe he was one of the first people to really alert us to how nightmarish it was working for Disney, particularly on Star Wars. He was just trying to do it in a very diplomatic way. But anyway, when he officially made that announcement, that left the Godzilla sequel without a director for quite a while, at least until Michael Doherty was officially announced, and it took a while for that to actually happen too. You guys probably may have blocked that interminable wait between movies out of your memory, because it was agonizing. I don't blame you, I want to forget it too. Although I can't, because I have a record of it on my channel. Point is, it's happened before. So, does it necessarily mean that's a bad thing? I think at this point it's too early to really tell. Like, I've seen people concerned that if Wingard leaves, he's taking his pitch for the movie with him. The one where he said, you know, they want it to be more Godzilla-focused, take inspiration from stuff like Godzilla vs. Destroya, things like that. But I'm not so sure that's the case. It's not like he has the exclusive rights to that vision. In fact, we're so early in the process at this point that I don't even know if there's much of a vision for him to take with him. 
he made those few announcements of what they were having in mind while discussing it before it was even officially announced. But is that really enough to say he had this whole movie and without him that's not happening? I don't necessarily think so. I don't even know if everything he said was originally his idea or if he was just talking about stuff that he and other people at Legendary were brainstorming and everybody was throwing these ideas around and regardless of who came up with what, those were the ones that they thought were the best. So it is quite possible still for Legendary to make like a paleontologist, take the few bones that they've got excavated and figure out the rest of the skeleton from there. It's possible, I'm saying. We don't really know. But, you know, keeping the same director also brings with it a certain level of consistency, and there's no denying Godzilla vs. Kong and Godzilla Kong The New Empire, you can tell they were made by the same director, love them or hate them. So, I mean, there is an argument to be made for keeping the director on board for the consistency, and of course because he made the movies that made money. But at the same time, I do feel there's an argument to be made that bringing in a new director can help shake things up and add a little variety. That's what the MonsterVerse was doing beforehand. So, it, it's difficult to say at this point if this is going to be a boon or a detriment. And, you know, there is also always the possibility that maybe somebody at Legendary or Warner Brothers or both of them will have the idea to just sort of put the next Godzilla Kong team up on hold and have another different MonsterVerse movie thrown into the works so they can have that and then after Wingard's available he can come back. I don't know. Anything is possible at this point. A lot of what I'm saying is pure speculation. But my main point is that right now we don't know it, how this is going to affect things because it is way too early. I mean, Godzilla Kong the New Empire is just wrapping up its theatrical run. And pre-orders for the home media are already underway. So barely any time has passed if you really think about it. It's too early to tell is what I'm saying. Hopefully, though, it's not a bad sign. Regardless of how you feel about Adam Wingard, I don't hate Adam Wingard. I've liked these last two movies. But, you know, I understand if he might want to move on or has to make certain decisions based on what's best for him and his loved ones. So, I, I, best of luck moving forward. Hopefully I hear more about his next movie soon and I'll be able to see if it's looking interesting. But as for the next MonsterVerse movie, we will see. Like I said, at this point, we've only just gotten the announcement that it's happening and a few ideas bounced around about what it could possibly be like. Not even necessarily what it's going to be. All I can say is that it's probably going to be another long wait, so... Better find some ways to entertain yourselves until then. Until such time as we meet again, this is the Omni Viewer signing off. Thank you all for watching. Now be sure to head down to the description to check us out on other platforms as well as find links to the five current books in the Tales from the Omni Vault universe. Again, thank you all and we'll see you next time.